Okay, perfectionism is killing your creativity. And let me tell you why. You are spending so much time trying to make the thing perfect that you're not even getting it done. There's no way to finish something if you spend all your time prepping it and wondering, is everybody else gonna like it? It's basically the equivalent of getting in the car and going somewhere, but not actually moving. You spend all your time checking the gauges and the instruments and your seatbelt and make sure you got everything that you need. And by the time you get where you're going, the moment's passed you by, you've missed it. Um, it's this weird sort of, I don't know, paradox, I guess, where we're trying to close in on this thing that we think is going to make us successful or the thing that we want to pursue that we think we're passionate about. And in the end, we end up missing it because we've spent so much time wondering what other people are going to think about it. Like, it's, it's like this. Let me show you. The perfectionist mentality is a strange one. It is this kind of weird self-defeating thing where we think that we're inching toward our goal or working toward it by doing prep work and trying to make it perfect, but in reality, this is just what it looks like from the outside. It looks like we're going around in circles, and in essence we are. We get stuck inside of this self-correcting feedback loop where we keep attempting to make the thing that we're working on better and better, chasing some strange idea of perfection. And the truth is we know the way to stop the loop. We know that just finishing the project would be the easiest and simplest way to close this down, to escape. But that would mean submitting it for other people's judgment. And therein lies the problem. You see, we get so caught up in the thought of other people's judgments that we would rather not create at all than to fail. We forget why we were creating in the first place. So what's the fix? How do we break out of this infinite feedback loop of self-correction? How do we break out of the stagnation that is the pursuit of perfection? Well, we have to find things that actually fuel our creativity instead of poison it. And oftentimes, the fuel on the fire is failure. The thing that we're actually so deathly afraid of can really be the thing that helps us grow and change the most. Okay, so to really break out of the cycle, we have to understand what's driving it. You see, perfectionism... Perfectionism isn't the problem, it's a symptom of the problem. It's actually motivated... It's actually motivated by a fear. A fear of what? A fear of failure. So. It's being pushed by fear. Fear is driving perfectionism. Fear drives perfectionism, which leads to one of two things, either procrastination or quitting. You either just put it off until you think it's right, think it's done, or you quit entirely. And either way, they're damaging because you're robbing yourself of valuable experience. See, if you were just to do the thing, if you didn't have the fear of failure, and you didn't have this intense need for perfectionism, you would go and do the thing that you're trying to do, and if you did happen to fail, then at least you would have learned something along the way. Whereas if you keep putting it off and either miss your deadline or your window, or you quit entirely, you not only didn't get it done, but you also didn't learn anything. You see, it's my opinion that learning and growing are so much more important than perfection. In fact, learning and growing are the only things that push you toward perfection. 
But at the end of the day, perfection doesn't even exist. Done, however, does exist. Being done with tasks and being done with projects, they help you build up a resistance to that fear of failure. They help to push you in the right direction because inevitably you're going to fail more often. And every time you do, you learn something. And every time you learn something, you get that much closer to being perfect. Oh, <laughs>